Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how you can increase the quota in your Azure subscription. You might have to increase the subscription limits and quota within your subscription for various reasons to increase the vCPUs and other limits which Microsoft put on each subscription. So let me quickly show you how you can do that. The first step is go to your subscriptions and select the subscription. On the left hand side, scroll down under settings, click on usage plus quotas. If you have done any previous quota increase request, you will be able to see it over here. I have not done anything prior. So click on request increase. So this is where we have to tell Microsoft what it is related to. So in our case, we have to select it's related to Azure services and the issue type as service and subscription limits related to quota. Select the subscription. If you do have multiple subscription, make sure you select the right one and select the type of the limit you would like to increase. There are quite a lot, but what I am trying to increase right now is compute, which is related to virtual machines. And I want to increase the core or vCPUs within my subscription so that I can try out few compute oriented tasks and click next. Under the additional details tab, click on enter details. Here, just retain the default option resource manager. Classic is an old model, so ignore that. Under location, select where you would like to increase the quota. So I'm going to select East US, select the region. It is now trying to load all the compute oriented virtual machines within East US. I have to wait a couple of seconds and expand this option to select the type of virtual machine you would like to increase this quota to. As you can see, there are quite a number of virtual machine family here. So I want to increase the size of F series machines. So I'm going to select F series, FS series, and I want to select a regional vCPUs as well. All right. So I want to select FS version two series as well. After you select the required virtual machine type or the family scroll down so that you can provide the so that you can provide the number of vCPUs you would like to increase. So for F series, I would like to increase 16 vCPUs. FS, I would like to increase again 16. Regional, I would like to increase it to 20 vCPU. And FS version 2 series, I would like to increase to 16 as well. And one thing to note over here is, Please always select the region where you are planning to deploy this workload and increase or request for increase based on the region. After that, click on save and continue. This is where you get the summary details. So you can make sure that all the details what you provided is correct. I'm going to select allow collection of advanced diagnostic information. Yes. And I'm going to leave the rest of the details to default. If you would like to change the severity and you want to contact via email or phone, you can provide that as well. I will select email and I'm going to give the username as the administrative user as well and click next. Now the validation is successful. Click on create. All right. So the new support request has been created and uh, Microsoft team will action it. This is how you will be able to increase the quota or subscription limit or any changes what you want to do within your Azure subscription. And I hope the information provided in this video was useful. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.